Hello everyone and welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. I'm so excited to share this episode with you. I love sewing and how fun is it to make something you love doing in miniature. This is the last of the arts and crafts videos because next we'll be making a craft room to put everything in. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next episode. All right, let's get crafting. To get the printable for this project, go to poppyseedmini.blogspot.com. The link is in the description box below. I printed mine on cardstock. Let's start with the sewing machine first. Pick out the color you like and cut it out. I designed this to match my favorite sewing machine. I'm definitely a Foth lover. Once it's cut out, trace around the cutout on foam fur board. You'll need to trace two full pieces and one of the bottom half of the machine. Make sure to have a fresh, sharp blade in your knife. Cut on the lines drawn. As always, be careful when using sharp knives. Once you have everything cut out, take the half piece and draw a line across the top. Make sure it's on the right side by lining it up with the print. Take your knife and cut at an angle along the line. It should look like this when you're done. Next, cut out one of the presser feet prints. Cover both sides with aluminum tape. And cut it out again. Bend it like so. Glue the presser foot on the back side of one of the cutouts. Take a pin and push it through the foam in front of the presser foot. Glue the other full piece on the back. I used my glossy accents glue for this project. Glue the half piece to the front. Next, you'll need to cover all the open sides with paper. Measure the width of the two layers of foam and cut a long strip. Cut a piece that fits across the bottom. Take a piece of aluminum tape and stick it to the strip right below the pressure foot. Glue it into place. Cut and glue more pieces to cover the foam. Trace the shape of the side, cut it out, and glue it in place. Once all the sides are covered, glue on the front picture. Start gluing at the top and work your way down. The print won't make it to the bottom. Use a ruler to measure up to the black line. Cut a strip of black paper. Glue it around the bottom of your machine.
glue a button to the side for the hand wheel. I punched out a piece of white paper to cover the buttonholes. To make a pressure foot lever, I cut a thin strip of plastic and covered it with aluminum tape. Bend it like so. Trim it down if it's too long. Glue it to the side by the presser foot. If you're using the glossy accents glue, you'll need to hold it in place while it dries. Okay, we have a sewing machine, but what if your doll needs to hand sew something? Let's start with a wrist pin cushion. Cut out the red patterns. Glue the small circle to two layers of recycled paperboard and cut it out. Trace around the large circle on your choice of fabric. Cut it out. Use a needle and thread to sew around the edge. Put a small bit of fluff and your small circle and pull your stitches tight. Make a few more stitches to hold it tight. Cut a piece of fourth inch elastic that fits around your doll's wrist. Sew one side down and then the other. then knot your thread. Try it on your doll's wrist. Now we need some pins and needles. I'm using a sewing kit from the dollar store for this project. To make a mini needle, take a thin regular needle and cut off the tip with a wire cutter. Use a metal nail file to resharpen a tip at the end of the needle. This takes a little time. Stick it in your pin cushion to see if it's sharp. Thread the needle to complete the look. To make pins, cut off the sharp ends of pins or needles. Stick it in your pin cushion and add a drop of glue to the end. Let it dry completely. Then I use nail polish to color the end a fun color. Make more to fill up your pincushion. Before we make everything else, let's make this little storage box. Cut out the box, fold on the lines. Glue it together. Cut out the label and glue it on. To make a measuring tape, cut a piece of 1 8 yellow gross grain ribbon. I found mine at Walmart for 97 cents. Take little pieces of aluminum tape to cover the ends. Use a regular black pen to mark the lines. Don't use a sharpie, it'll bleed. When you're finished, you can roll it up and put it in the box. Cut out the label 
for the elastic. Take elastic cord and wrap it around a few times. Curl the label. Glue it around the elastic. If you don't have thin elastic, you could also use white embroidery floss. For buttons, cut out the little button cards. Use nail art, stickers, or beads and glue or stick them down to the cards. To make zippers, cut out the zipper printable. Use a hard edge to help fold down the edges. Hold the top and bottom tabs in first, then the sides. Glue it together. To make spools of thread, pinch or poke a small hole in cardstock. Then use a regular hole punch, center it on the hole, and punch it out. Make four. Cut a tube. This is part of an old pen. A coffee stir would work too. Sand the edges of the plastic so the glue sticks better. Glue two pieces to each side. After it dries, use a tiny piece of tape to tape the thread to the spool. Wrap the thread around the spool till it looks full. Cut a small slit in the top of the spool and stick the thread through it. Make as many colors as you want. To make a bolt of fabric, cut a 1 inch by 6 inch piece of recycled paperboard. I used my ruler to crease it like so. Crease it again three inches apart. Cut a four and a half by five and a half inch piece of fabric. Fold down the edges of the fabric and wrap it on the board. Fold the end and pin or glue it down. To make a mini rotary blade, cut out the print and cover it with packing tape. Cut out the pieces. Color the edges with black and blue pens. Cover the blue circle with aluminum tape and cut it out. Use a tiny hole punch to make a hole in the center. Take black foam and cut a strip. Cut a little dip in it and glue it down. Oops, too much glue. Oh well. Cut a tiny piece off of a toothpick. Glue it in the middle of the handle. Once it's dry, cut out the foam. Put the blade on the peg and glue on the other side. While that's drying, let's make a quilting ruler. Take a piece of recycled plastic from packaging. Use a fine tip Sharpie to draw on a grid pattern. Once your pattern is done, cover it with packing tape so it won't smudge and cut it out. I made more than one size. Now I can take the cutting mat from our crafting video and your doll is ready to cut some fabric. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Poppy Seed Mini. 
We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have fun crafting. <laughs>